Alrighty guys and gals, Gunshine More back here with another Arc Aberration video where today we're going to be hatching up those Rock Drake eggs. Luckily for me, you guys all voted for me to keep the eggs. I am a bit surprised though at how many of you guys actually voted for me to keep them. It was a surprising 77% of you vo voted for me to keep them. I was imagining this to be more of a even 50-50 split or at least like a, you know, one side just a little bit more than the other but yeah i figured this would be closer but surprisingly it was not so to begin with here today i am currently waiting on my forges here to get me enough metal made up for me to craft up three more air conditioners because i'm pretty sure that's what i'm gonna need here to hatch the rock drake eggs now i've already gone out today to get a bunch of silica pearls i found a nice spot over there by hidden lake um, I'll show you guys here on the map if I can find it, but I'm gonna quickly get all my spark powder going here This is just so that way I can make gunpowder because as well I need to make shotgun bullets so I can kill nameless today another reason why I'm waiting on metal But for that spot over here by hidden lake where I've been going to get silica pearls. It's right about in here uh, you'll if you go out here you in the like water you'll notice a redwood tree that kind of sticks out towards it because there's like no other redwood trees around like they're all further back but like i'm pretty sure this right here is that redwood tree and if you just head over to this side you'll notice a rock like right, right about here and then on the other side of that rock there's like just a field of silica pearls and it is shallow enough water that you can kind of walk and get them but it is still some deep parts there where you will be swimming so do watch your stamina Okay, so I just got enough metal here for two more air conditioners. We're going to turn on the fabricator here. And we're going to craft them both up. Maybe we can scoot on by with just two more air conditioners. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to need the full eight to get a Rock Drake egg. And what I mean by eight is the full eight in total, not eight more. I only need one more if that's the case. And here we go. So boom, boom, we'll pop out, that's the wrong thing, we'll pop out the 180 here to test it, see if the heat's okay, and well, bam, now we'll see, what does it look like, yep, too hot, we are going to probably need the last one there, so that way we have the full 8, um, worst case scenario is that we need more than that, uh, watch, it's going to probably need 10 of them, so I'm probably going to need another 3, in which, yeah, that's probably what the case is going to be. It it always seems to be that way. It's like, all right, you need one more. You need one more. You need one more. Then the one time you craft like five, it's like, all right, you place down one. Then it's like, all right, you have five more that you can place down because it's just perfect. Or well, what was it? You got four more that you wasted because that last one out of the five. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of losing it myself. Okay, so I just got enough metal here for another air conditioner. I'm really hoping this is the last one I need. Because, yeah, I'm going to be irritated if I have to make two more. Because this is starting to get ridiculous. Now, I need to get my Rock Drake egg. Please be the last air conditioner. Damn it. We probably need two more. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for two more air conditioners, but watch. It's going to be, like, only one more. It's literally going to only need one more. That's what I'm betting on. But I'm going to go for two. Because I know it. The first time I go for two, it's going to be, yep, yep, not enough. Now, as well, for you guys that are wondering, for the progress on the house, we're actually making good progress. Because while I'm waiting for that metal to cook up for the next uh, two air conditioners here, I have been working on the next floor. So this floor here that I'm currently working on is going to be my little, you know, office area and trophy room. This floor down here, I think I'm going to split it up into being a cementing paste farm and a polymer farm. As well as being my little breeding area for like, you know, when I'm uh, you know, breeding creatures or hatching them up. Like my genetic storage area for when I also get the genes going. Okay guys, so... uh I just went AFK for way too long because I was making supper for me and my family. And, uh, yeah. So we should now have enough metal and all that for the air conditioners and bullets. It's just that I came back in the brink of time because I, I about died. I literally about died of starvation and thirst. 
That was a close one. So let's get these last two air conditioners craft up. I'm going to get my egg going and I'm going to eat my uh, supper here and then we'll continue on with the video. And as well, I did go into single player and I tested out how many air conditioners I need. And is exactly how many I need. Uh, so let me grab the 180 egg. This is the first one we're going to hatch. We'll save the 190 for later. Just in case my breeding settings ain't set up correctly on the server. But I used a beacon to set them up. Yep, that that looks like it should be perfect. So I'll throw you down and we'll let you get going here. So I'm going to go eat my supper and hopefully I'll get done before this thing hatches so that way we can run out and get some nameless venom. Okay, so as well, I did just get me some shotgun ammo going. And surprisingly, I got more out of this than I thought I would because I forgot simple bullets. They give you double the ammo. So you when you craft one, you get two, which is a nice it actually is very helpful and I'm glad that it's set up that way because I was able to get 60 shotgun ammo now as well I am also still making more spark powder so that way I can make more gunpowder so that way I can make more shotgun ammo because I ain't gonna lie this double barrel shotgun here is pretty good I ain't gonna lie that's for what I have right now that's pretty good hopefully though once we're able to go up here onto the surface with a rock drake uh, those drops up there are going to be a lot better. Hopefully I can get a god tier pump action. Or 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 as well, because I just remembered this. We have the new tinker table. If I can get enough blueprints, eventually I can probably make a god tier blueprint and then just have to make it, you know? But it would be better to find one, because that'd be cheaper in theory. So I am still technically eating my supper, but I figured I can at least try to get one or two nameless. Knocked out if I remember to bring the ammo, damn. Let me quickly get my ammo, but yeah, that's what we're going to do here real quick. We're going to kill two of the nameless, just so I have some food to start out with when he does hatch. I'm going to miss that completely. But at least we're back somewhat up at the base. Come on. This is getting difficult. <laughs> I... I thought I learned how to fly the, uh, yesterday, but I was wrong. I have been getting better, though, at actually uh, remembering to disengage the wings when I swing and remembering to disengage the swing when I wing. But here is my shotgun ammo. Let's get that loaded. Pop this into here. Reload my double barrel. Hopefully, we can just one-shot the first nameless that shows up. But we're just going to dive. They should... Ooh, technically pop up around here. Hold up. Do I have danger sense turned on? Yes. Okay. That's our danger sense. Nameless. As soon as one of those pops up, he should give me the danger sense. But there should be nameless around here. I think I had ten more minutes... On my uh, rock drake there as well. But I've had Nameless pop up down here on me. Now they won't. Am I, am I doing something wrong? Or is it because of the earthquake? I'm betting it's because of the earthquake. Because I've had Nameless attack me when I go down here. Like I should. I'll, I'll walk around. Hopefully we do have one pop up on me. I heard something. No, I don't think that is. But yeah, we I'll I'll walk around and I'll get back to you guys once I have a nameless pop up on me. I thought they would immediately because they have in the past. Ooh, I just heard a nameless. Hold up, where they at? Reload, reload. There we go. No, give me. Do I have to kill an alpha? Where's your venom? Or do they not drop venom sometimes? That was like the first nameless that popped up. Where did he show? I'd imagine more should start attacking me. He had to have been chasing me for a little bit. Ooh, hear that? That's another one.
No venom. I think I just have to keep on farming them. Seems like just chilling right here is popping them. Huh. I'm surprised I've not gotten venom. Or have I? No, I haven't. How do I get nameless venom? Am I, like, doing it wrong? Also, what is this? What level are you? You're level 25. Hmm. I'm, I'm curious now, because now there's no more nameless. <laughs> Those are Avengers! Oh. Nothing to grapple onto. Great. Okay. I'm going to go back to base and check on the egg, because it's been a good seven minutes or so. So... I gotta go run back and at least check just to make sure everything's going fine. Okay, so the egg has three minutes left on it. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to run out and get Nameless Venom. I could have sworn it just drops from every Nameless that you kill. Unless I'm doing something wrong. I think I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so I looked up the wiki. It is just extremely rare drop rate. I, I could have sworn back in ASC it was like almost every other nameless gave you at least one. And I mean, yeah. Apparently, I think they increased it here on ASA. So, that's going to be a pain in my keister. Because, yeah. Okay, I quite literally turned around and he hatched. But here is our rock drake. And it is a he. So, let's go over here. Come on, Rock Trick, follow me. Me and you are going to become friends. going to shed tacos. But I'm hungry, damn. But yes, this is our Rock Drake. So, it says you uh, got 14 minutes here to get back. So, it is exactly... Alright, this is perfect because it's exactly right on the hour right now. So, here in 14 minutes, I need to be back to feed you Nameless Venom. Because I want to try and get 100% on the imprint. So I'm figuring that the area that would probably be best for the Nameless is going to be somewhat over here. Because this is where I feel like they've attacked me in the past. So if I get low enough, I should just hear them eventually. Because that's what happened with that last group. I heard the first one when it growled at me. But there's also, as you can see, Baby Ravengers. Which, yeah, I thought, huh. I thought those were full-size rapid. Oh, yes, those are. Okay, let's not do that, because I now have a pike. Gotta use the pike, gotta use the pike. Just walk in circles, that's the best thing to do. Target the alphas, because those guys can summon uh, Reaper Kings. Oh god, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Because I gotta harvest corpses. Gotta get you. This is perfect though. I haven't seen any. Ooh, that bag. Oh, that's not good. This bag, though. What's in this bag? Three venom. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is not good. Come on, pull myself in. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We're just barely making it. That was not fun. Okay. I'm literally, like, freaking out. Because I about died. I was watching all my armor break there. Damn. That was a close one. But luckily, we were able to get three Nameless Venom. Now, I am going to just pop these all in here. I lost all my armor. Damn. Just hang on to those. So, we should be good, hopefully, for three of these. I do want to go get more. I am going to have to go get more. But I am also going to have to get better gear. Also, sorry I'm not talking directly into my mic. I am still technically eating supper. But yeah, 
I am going to get back to you guys once we get to the first feed here, and I'm also going to go repair up all my gear. Okay, so we got about 35 seconds here left on our little guy before he wants an imprint. So I'm going to get my Venom here ready, and we're going to just sit here and get ready for it. Okay, here we go. Boom. Ooh, that gave you 50%. Okay, that's interesting. So I only have to imprint on you twice, and then it's just literally sit back and wait for you to fully grow up. Okay. Um, I might want to adjust my taming setting so it's a bit more even, but I'm okay with this for this time around. Uh, but yeah. So as well here, I got my 190 egg. I'm going to get it hatching up here as well. Because by the time this guy's done with his imprints, this thing should be ready and hatching. Okay, so I've suited up with my chitin gear. I'm going to go back out and hopefully we can get another bag of nameless venom so we're literally just gonna head right back down over here to where we were we were just i believe right here if i'm correct yep hear him okay let's reload our shotgun just so that way i have it there's the alpha come on buddy Finish you off with this. As soon as I get a bag, I'm grabbing it and running. But do you notice how much armor some of these guys have? Okay. As soon as I also see things breaking, I gotta dip. Ooh. That's a Ravager's bag. Stop. I need it. One of you guys to drop the bag, please. This guy? No. None of you guys dropped a bag and they all quit spawning at the same time. Great. That's epic. I don't know what's going on, but there's been no more nameless. I think it's because it's technically daytime up there, or is it nighttime? I, I don't know. But there's none of them down here. Like, nothing. Originally, I was getting attacked, remember? Like, that, like twice over there. Like, they just swarmed me. Now, over here, was that a nameless? That sounded like a snake. And I'm pretty sure that's one of those. So, I'm actually just going to head back to base. Because it does not appear that any more nameless are spawning on me. So... I'm just going to take a break from it now. We'll only worry about the one uh, rock drake for now and getting it uh, raised up. Um, I did have a problem, though, trying to get it to follow me outside. This new AI pathing is, I'm going to be honest, so stupid it doesn't work. Like, watch. I walk over here. I walk down. I walk down. I walk past the gate. He follows me. Last... <laughs> Last time he freaked out, but also last time I had it set to follow distance 3. So surprisingly, this worked a lot better that time. So, you, my man, chill. Oh, another thing that I'm really hoping for right now is that the female has uh, some pretty good... Well, no, is it not the female? That 190 comes out as a female, and it has some pretty good stats. But aquatic. What does aquatic do? This creature has adapted to life in the water. So you're just good at swimming. So I also got a theory here on why the Nameless quit spawning down there. And that is, I hit the wrong button, that it is currently nighttime technically. And what that means is that on the surface, it's dark. That means you can go up there, you can collect drops and all that. That also means all the Nameless are spawning up there instead of down here in the blue zone. So when it says 100% or 90% day, I should be able to go down there and hopefully Nameless are spawning again. I think that's the mechanic. Or what I could do is open up their Dino Finder and just pinpoint them like I just did. Which is apparently something I can do. Give me a bag, dude. Nope. 
Okay, one more nameless. These are the two closest ones to the base. I'm just going for these guys because I only got like about six minutes left before I have to imprint on my uh, rock drake. So hopefully this one here gives me a bag. It's supposedly a rare drop. I didn't think it would be this rare though. Because they were kind of common back in uh, ASE, in my opinion. But now it's like rare when like you really have to find them because I could have sworn it was like almost every other nameless at least gave you one or two venom so okay so this rock drake should be done with the imprinting now you're at a hundred percent correct yep now I don't have to worry about you I just can kick back and let you grow up without having to worry too much about feeding Here's some meat. I don't think you eat this. Yeah, no, that doesn't count. You only eat nameless venom. But now what I need to do is I got to wait for this to hatch. Once this one hatches and I uh, claim it, I'll get it out there. And then I'm heading back out for more nameless. Because I still do need one more nameless venom to get this one up to 100% imprinting. So, yeah. I'm hoping... That isn't too difficult. Uh, just that brief encounter with that one little swarm there almost destroyed my chitin armor, which is telling me I need better armor. Okay, so I've upgraded my armor here to flak, although going and getting armor from drops would be better because it would, you know, be better quality. The durability on this is significantly better than the chitin, so... This is what we're going to use because it is the best I can do. So this egg is about to hatch. And once I claim this rock drake, we should be hopefully heading out. Please be a female. Oh, yes. Yes. And you also got damn it. They can both swim really good. It's just except this one can swim better than the other one because it's a level two trait. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. I was hoping to get something nice, but I guess that works. Okay, we got them out. We got 14 minutes here. Let's do that. Make sure you are in passive. And now let's go over here to this cluster of nameless. I have highlighted using the dino finder. Just so that way I can go dive in on top of them. And we can hopefully just get a bunch of venom. Or at least one more bag. I know getting a bunch is like a pipe dream right now, and oh, where am I heading? Those guys are all in the walls. Oh. No, they're not. But we do got Ravengers on us. Okay, let's swap. Swap pike. Swap to pike. We need crowd control. That's what this is. We need to really focus the big guy because they can spawn in Reapers if I let them stay alive too long. Okay, come on, die, please. All of you, please just give me one bag. Oh, that pushed me right into a corner. Did one of my pieces of armor just break? No. Is this a bag? That's a Ravengers. I hear... Nameless, though. Okay... Please, I do. Ooh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. That's all I need. Okay, we're done. We're done. We can get 100% imprinting on both of them. We are leaving. Because we got everything we need. I can hear Nameless popping everywhere below me now. I'm also going to check something. Nope. My theory was wrong. So it is not based on whether or not the day it's day or night outside. Or up there. Up top. Uh, come on. Give me a place to latch on. There we go. I have to I have to do this in two stages because the ceiling's too far. But from my house, the ceiling is close enough for me to latch onto. Which is awesome because I can go from my platform there, latch onto the ceiling, swing over there, latch onto the ceiling again. Then I can glide over to that platform right there where there's a bunch of metal nodes. But there we go. All our nameless venom is in our uh, preserving bin. And now, 
All I have to do is sit here and wait for you to be done. Now, hopefully that doesn't take too long. Now, as well, there is one thing I have not checked yet. Can I even make a Rock Drake saddle? No, I can't. Oh, no, I didn't think this that far through. But we should be fine. Um, what I can do here to get some levels is that if I head over to... Uh, Oh, wait, no, I already did that, didn't I, at the beginning? Or did I remember to get those? I Oh, you know, you know what? I got one. But I do know that one's close. So there's Explorer Notes that are four times, which are the little terminal ones that you collect, and it's uh, HLNA, Helena, or one of them, and it, one or the other. And they explain it to you what, like, history of the arc. Like, they do the little dialogue. But I can grab one of those, run back to my base real quick, and just craft up a bunch of fiber hats. Or cloth hats. Okay, so the 190's first imprint is coming up. Where it wants some care. And, oh, you want to go on a walk? Damn it, come on. I guess this is technically easy, because I don't have to worry about Nameless Venom for you. Um... Okay, thank you. Come on, come over here. Where are you? Like, this is what I mean by the new AI pathfinding. It's just stupid sometimes. But there we go. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I am I jumped right into the gas. I forgot. I don't have a hazard suit on anymore, so now when that happens, I literally just get a face full of gas. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you the nameless venom here just to eat. Because I know it counts as food for you guys. And that's what that one got. That's why it's doing fine. And I don't have to worry about feeding it here for a hot minute. But what I will do is go get some raw meat to throw in it. But anyways, as well guys. I think I'm going to call it here for this episode. I'm probably going to wait to uh, until this one wants its next imprint. And then I'm probably going to get off after that. Because they'll be done and I can just go AFK. Or not really AFK, okay, I can just get off, finally. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point in today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting any videos. And do remember to share the videos as well, because that really helps out the channel. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori, signing out. Peace.